Right, let's take you to one of our top stories now. Three words continuously came up in the Rahima Musa Hospital report by the health ombudsman. The probe by uh, Professor Malakapuru Makhoba found that the hospital was dirty, neglected and unsafe. Some recommendations to turn the hospital around include appointing a new CEO. The report found Nozugom Gabai was often absent, which resulted in poor patient care there. For more reaction to the story, I'm joined now by Ashti Souls the first, the former MMC of Health and Social Development in Johannesburg and the current Beaufort West Mayor. He was mentioned in today's report as one of those people who uh, expressed concern about the hospital. Uh, Mr. Souls, thank you very much for your time here on ENCA. Um, I mean, I remember speaking to you particularly about this particular hospital and the fact that uh, you were also among the people who were uh, fighting for the, uh, you know, or against the suspension of Dr. Demaya. So today you were exonerated. Good afternoon, Masejo, and uh, to your viewers. Uh, that is correct, and I'm very excited about the findings, uh, especially since uh, it's not just that I express concern. Mm. As a matter of fact, it is, it is myself, if you can remember, last year in April, on the 4th of April, I uh, uploaded a video that went viral yeah. of me being at the hospital and witnessing pregnant women on the floor. And it is two days after that the member of the Health Portfolio Committee then lodged the complaint with the ombudsman. And uh, so here now, it's not about, I want to make the point of, it's not about to a person. It's about showing that together as one, we can bring about change within our, within our country. I was there at the hospital, saw the state, uploaded it, and as an MMC, addressed it as best I can on my level. Then the portfolio committee member wrote the complaint. The ombudsman, together with their investigators, brought us to this point. It didn't take a single person. It took us to act as one us to come to this this conclusion now this findings and hopefully change is brought so that we can better serve uh, the residents uh, of our country the mm. citizens of our country mm. were you at any point frustrated at how long the health ombudsman's office was taking to finalize the report no actually i wasn't um mm. because because of the fact that i was involved in the process and i saw how meticulous they were and how they were emphasizing on executing with military precision on this particular issue, I felt that whatever time they, 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 they take and whatever time it took, uh, I think it was justifiable, especially given the outcome. Now what is key is the execution of correcting the issue at the hospital so that uh, there's no more mothers lying on the floors, uh, giving birth at Rahima Musa, and that they deal with the issue of the illegal immigration uh, element that is causing uh, the hospital services to be overburdened. I hope that, and I'm, I'm, I'm very, very, very empathetic about this, that, that the same execution with military precision that was employed during the investigation, that now it will be taken serious by the provincial health government the national health government, and that they execute in the same way in dealing with the issues that is causing uh, a, a lack of service delivery to uh, South Africans uh, at Rahima, Mos, uh, Rahima, Rahima Musa uh, Hospital. Mm. When you were speaking to either uh, the CEO, Ms. Mkabai, or uh, the health department's uh, uh, officials here in Gauteng, what kind of reception did you get as somebody who uh, was concerned and was showing any videos? Well, as you know, it was very abrasive um, at the beginning. Uh, the CEO didn't want to see me. Uh, but then uh, later on, as the media also got involved and the outcry got stronger, uh, then uh, she saw me and she was very cooperative uh, later on. And we, we tried in my capacity as the former MFC of health, together with the South Tribe, to turn around the situation as best we can. I must say I, was, I never met up with the with the provincial uh, health M MEC and, and also nobody from national, even though I wrote to, uh, to them. And uh, as you know, uh, it was rather, the impression was rather given that I'm lying, I made up the story, it's political, but yet I'm very happy today uh, 
that uh, the Ombudsman has founded uh, and has concluded that what I actually was saying at the time and what I was expressing was not fabricated. It mm. was the truth and it was just basically out of concern for the, for the citizens of our country. Mm. Professor Malakapuru Mahoba mentioning here in a large chunk of his report that he uh, was concerned, him and his team rather, are concerned about uh, you know, the process that is used to um, employ a CEO at hospitals, making an example, of course, of the Rahima Musa Mother and Child Hospital. He also said Ms. Ngabai only started her job, her job rather, around the 12th of um, January 2021, and he found that the problems that were investigated there existed even before her appointment. So this makes it difficult when it comes to accountability. But who do you think should be held accountable for this mess? Everybody, everybody involved, the CEO, uh, Provincial Health, uh, Health and uh, MEC, and, and those that are responsible for, for employing people uh, that are not showing care, that are not passionate, that are not compassionate. Uh, all of them should be held accountable. Uh, the, 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 the politicians and also the technocrats that is involved in, 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 in having people uh, that, that are employed in our hospitals that are not passionate, that are not compassionate, that are not executing with military precision. Everyone involved uh, should be held accountable, should account. It should not just be now that it's written in a report, that's where it ends. And then just one person is sacrificed. No, we should hope everyone accountable that is involved on all levels, local, provincial, and national, so that the time comes that we, we, we work as one to transform uh, the, the experience that our citizens, citizens are ha having within this country. We cannot do it alone. We should, as one, take accountability, and as one, we should execute military precision to ensure that every single citizen of this country are prioritized, are put first with every single element of service delivery. That time has come, and that time is now. Anyone who does not want to work as one should be decisively dealt with. And so mm. that's my position. Let's not just scapegoat one person. Mm. Let's call everyone to account that's involved in the entire process. And that's how we're going to clean up the system. All right, uh, Ashley Souls the first, the former MMC of Health and Social Development in the city of Johannesburg, and the current Beaufort West Mayor. All right. Uh